Hi. Uh, in this episode, I'm not going to talk about uh, um, anything related to electronics. A little bit, a little while ago, I've decided to upgrade the mechanical and machining capabilities of my workshop, uh, mostly uh, electronics related, and uh, to be able to <coughs> uh, work on uh, with enclosures, uh, mechanical components of my prototypes, and things like that. And all and other things that I like to do. I immediately realized that I need a good um, a grinder in order to uh, be able to sharpen uh, my tools, such as drill bits, uh, boring bars, and things like that. Um, so I thought, well, what could be easier? Just to go to the store, find a good uh, grinder, a bench grinder, and buy it, and then you're done. Well, unfortunately, I realized right away that um, uh, this kind of expectation is. Uh, um, cannot be uh, farther from the truth, <laughs> shall I say. Um, <coughs> so what I have right here is a Baldor uh, grinder. Um, this uh, particular unit is, uh, well, so they claim, is entirely made in US. And this is uh, one of the high-end um, uh, brands available uh, here in Canada. Um, at uh, retailer stores, uh, the tool stores, it can go from about 250 to 400 dollars, depending on uh, where you find it. Um, when I brought it over uh, to my workshop, I was uh, expecting it to work right away, as I mentioned before. However, I realized that I have to make few modifications in order to uh, be happy with this, and uh, <coughs> one of the things uh, that I noticed is that. Um, most of the ch uh, cheap imported, uh, mostly Chinese made uh, grinders uh, have a lot of vibration and then uh, almost impossible to work. Um, what I found that this unit, um, at first it didn't vibrate as much, but however it did uh, not, it wasn't quite uh, uh, as different as it is. So I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you the end result. I think this is a very good test of um, uh, how good is your grinder. So this is uh, 10 uh, cents Canadian uh, on the edge, at top of the grinder. And I'm going to turn it on. If you notice uh, the, the 10 cent coin stay where it is. So this is the kind of um, a quality, um, or shall I say, this is the, the end result that I was looking for when I was uh, looking to buy a grinder uh, at a retailer. And then when I chose the brand, such as the Baldor, that's what I was expecting. I still think this particular model was a good choice for me. Uh, this is the smallest uh, unit that uh, uh, they have, that uh, Baldor makes. Uh, this is, uh, 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 it, it uses 6 inch uh, wheels with uh, 3 quarter inch uh, thickness, um, which is the thickness of the, of the grinding wheel itself. Um, I think this uh, uh, model can uh, possibly take uh, 1 inch uh, wide uh, grinding wheels uh, if uh, uh, with few modifications uh, mostly the the washer I guess um, however I just decided to keep it as is and I purchased uh, extra grinding wheels of the same thickness uh, just to keep things uh, uh, easier because I believe that um, the the thickness of the wheel also depends on the power that you have in your motor so when I got it brand new, it came with uh, a tourist um, that looks like this. So these are original tourists that this unit uh, came with. You can see they're very, very small. And um, uh, they made out of uh, uh, a piece of uh, steel, um, uh, which is bent uh, at 90 degrees and then attached right here. Um, the surface is kind of flat, but not really, because uh, this one has been stamped out. Um, what I had to do first is to... Um, I, have to I took uh, uh, two pieces of aluminum. Uh, uh, maybe... A couple uh, inches uh, wide. And uh, I machined 
uh, better tourists and uh, you notice that in addition to uh, being more flat and to have a bigger surface I also have um, a cutout in this uh, in this tourist uh, that uh, goes around the grinding wheel um, these uh, grinding wheels are not uh, you're not meant to grind on a, on the side of the wheel but sometimes you want to use the edge and then I realized that by um, by using this type of uh, uh, tool rest uh, it's easier to uh, to use the edge of the wheel um, some of the cheap models uh, available are coming with a rest that looks exactly like this and I don't understand why uh, um, a nice brand such as Baldur uh, cannot uh, um, cannot give uh, the tourists uh, that are, are a little bit better so what I did uh, in this case is I uh, uh, machined this plate uh, first I made the cutout uh, to the desired width then I placed it and, and uh, pushed it firmly against the, the grinding wheel uh, by leaving about uh, one eighth of the inch on each side or half a millimeter on each side and then I, I traced the existing torres uh, with the scribe beneath it and then um, when I have done that I machined the slot I milled out the slot for uh, that fits an existing old uh, the, the tool rest uh, that this, uh, this grinder came with I uh, drilled the holes uh, tapped the thread and then I have uh, two M4 uh, bolts uh, to screw the new plate on and that's it's pretty simple um, I understand that you do need a, a milling uh, machine in order to be able to manufacture tourists like this so uh, <coughs> I'm not going to talk more about this uh, but just to understand that uh, uh, this is one of the possibilities and I found I'm happy with the tourists uh, the, the way they are so let me go to a uh, next uh, step shall I say take this uh, cover off <coughs> so <coughs> originally this um, uh, this grinder came with uh, uh, two grinding wheels uh, brown uh, grinding wheels that uh, looked like this you can see um, this is the one of the grind uh, the, this is one of the original grinding wheels that I found in this uh, uh, that were uh, supplied with this grinder you can see it this uh, uh, wheel has uh, a hole a half inch in diameter and that's exactly matches the arbor so this um, um, this grinder has uh, the arbor of uh, half inch uh, diameter so this one is the right wheel and so therefore <coughs> so um, The first thing I did is I, I tried to use a dial indicator in order to uh, check whether the, there is a run out on this, uh, on this arbor of any kind. So I did uh, find possibly uh, less than half a uh, tenth of an inch of run out. So I think um, this arbor is, is, is nearly perfect and I measured both uh, the arbor itself uh, for, uh, from the uh, perpendicular um, 
the run out as well as the the shoulder of the arbor um, which is right here so this is how original wheel comes on well the problem is this uh, is that uh, these wheels are not perfect they're not perfectly round and you have uh, fewer um, uh, a few millimeters of center and another problem is that uh, the the grinding wheels uh, they, they're uh, made of uh, a mix uh, which is the the, the 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 grinding material such as silicon carbide or, or uh, aluminum oxide uh, this one is our aluminum oxide uh, wheels um, and they're not uh, the density is not is not the same so the end result is that when you put uh, when you add the, uh, put this wheel on the grinder you have a vibration so in order to uh, fix the vibration problem um, i found that there is no actually good solution for it so even if um, you dress the wheel by using say dry diamond dresser which i'll show later um, and uh, the the wheel is it's perfectly uh, round with respect to this um, uh, with this with this tool post um, uh, tool holder you find that it's still going to vibrate and then so <coughs> fortunately of course uh, there is a solution for this um, what I found, I found a company called uh, One Way. This is a Canadian company they sell in US and in Canada. Um, they sell a kit like this in a box. Um, it comes with uh, uh, two um, metal flanges i think well these ones are made from aluminum and when you order you have to say you have to order the right kind for example this one is uh half inch which matches the diameter of my of my arbor and um here is the 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 um you can you can actually put it into a vise so see here is the little uh flat surface and then when you put uh, the grinding wheel into the uh, between these flanges and you tighten it um, there is a groove and prior of uh, prior to doing that um, they provide you with uh, six uh, bolts uh, three for each uh, grinding wheel and then uh, uh, this is the, the the screw and it has a washer just right behind it you can see that and then they <coughs> they can freely move along the perimeter of the, the grinding wheel and this kit as you can see uh, you can see on the picture it comes with a with a fixture uh, this this is just a, a, a mount with two uh, ball rings a uh, small ball rings and uh, the whole wheel comes on it like this and when you put it on um, if the wheel uh, uh, spins by itself and always turns on one side what you can do then is you unscrew um, loosen one of these bolts and then you move it upwards and through this process you can balance it so what uh, what you have as a step one is the is the wheel that's been balanced by means of this uh, of this uh, screws. I believe this is not the only manufacturer that makes uh, similar devices, but that's the one I found. And it's actually um, since this is a Canadian company, they charge me um, in Canadian dollars the same price. Um, the problem is that uh, of course this. Um, flange does not fit into this um, into the grinding wheel with this hole uh, which is a half inch hole so I had to buy well I needed them anyway but I had to buy different grinding wheels and uh, so this is the grinding wheel I purchased uh, from my local supplier and this one has 
um, a one inch hole in it and then so that uh, fits uh, this um, this balancing uh, fixture right here um, these grinding wheels might come with the plastic uh, uh, adjustment or I don't know how they call them uh, um, sort of the, the plastic uh, 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 rings inside that they probably meant to be mounted with this plastic uh, rings inside on directly onto the uh, onto the arbor however I found this this uh, this this is not uh, not very well a good idea also if you're not uh, often working with grinding wheels and replacing them don't remove this this labels here because these are just not these are not uh, uh, primary purpose of this uh, paper here is not uh, uh, to be a label and to to describe the wheel but uh, just to prevent um, provide the grip from uh, for the flanges and then prevent uh, the wheel from cracking so this is very important um, so this is this is where I have this uh, wheel uh, mounted uh, inside the flange and I have it uh, first I had it tightened uh, and then I adjusted uh, the balance using this tool Um, now there is um, uh, there is a problem that I discovered right away when I tried to use it with this particular grind so this is a six inch baldor um, if you see um, this uh, these screws are hitting the the the, uh, the left wall if I mount it like that so I cannot use it so if I turn it as a side which I did um, and I mount this cover the same problem would happen so what I had to do is I had to machine uh, three millimeters off uh, this surface right here as you can uh, you can uh, imagine that uh, to provide enough clearance for this um, for this cover uh, let me put uh, m let me screw this thing on and I'll show you um, in order to tighten the bolts because they are in different direction not they're not uh, Um, kind of uh, uh, but the torque wrench is probably the, the best uh, uh, for this kind of application they don't have to be tightened uh, a lot uh, because there will be safe self tightening depending on the direction but you have to remember that this uh, use this uh, left side uses the left hand thread and this one is a right hand thread so if I uh, now put put this cover on Once the wheel is, is um, once the wheel has been balanced, I had to repeat this procedure, and you will see why. 
So um, regardless of the fact that I'm using a special uh, uh, flanges uh, provided by uh, one way um, and the, the wheel is, is being balanced and if I turn it on like uh, you, you've seen uh, previously you, you don't have the vibration what might happen is that the wheel itself as I mentioned before might have some imperfections so the one side will be heavier than another uh, but that has been taken care of the uh, of by uh, of the by the balancing uh, fixture. However, there is another problem. Uh, the wheel might still be uh, mounted a little bit off center. So the wheel itself can be uh, the grinding wheel itself can be um, a little bit elliptic, and even if it's not when you mount it on in those in, into the uh, in between flanges you it can be a little bit off center let's say a quarter millimeter or something uh to 10 15 thousands and so on so on so the next thing that you have to do uh, <coughs> uh to make this your grinder perfect you have to uh, dress the wheel uh, by dressing the wheel you make it uh the whole uh entire uh, assembly which is the wheel and the flanges are concentric and in order to do that uh, there are many different uh, uh, methods well this one I found is the best uh, this is um, a diamond a wheel dresser um, I bought it this one is uh, uh, Desmond item number four six one zero zero um, glide diamond uh, dresser. Um, that's the one I'm using. I'm very happy with this one. I would recommend it. However, I don't know if uh, I haven't seen anything better. That's maybe why. And again, the, the having the nice uh, uh, tool rest with very straight edge helps. And the way the uh, uh, you can dress the wheel. Is, is by placing this uh, dresser and then if I turn it on I will move it backwards and forwards uh, starting by slightly touching it um, like this So you can see just it's just slightly you can see a lot of this is a real diamond so it cuts the wheel pretty um, uh, pretty aggressively and then uh, be careful to of course not to ruin this diamond replacement uh, 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 new diamond for this tool is about 40 to 45 dollars and then um, you don't need to um, you don't need to remove a lot of material you just want to make sure that the, the grinding um, wheel is uh, absolutely round and you can see it by um, using I let it uh, uh, stop if you position a, a, a pencil it should not, and then when I mean, it just starts touching, it should not touch its single spot or half wheel or something. It should touch around the entire uh, perimeter of the grinding wheel. So you know that the wheel is 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 absolutely uh, around uh, with respect to the uh, to the tool rest. And then when I start grinding, um, uh, let's say uh, sharpening my tools. Uh, when this, the wheel is spinning, I don't have this sort of jerky motion because uh, 
the wheel is touching the the tip of uh, of the tool I'm trying to sharpen and then you have nothing and then you're touching it again so imagine if it was a uh, um, elliptic not a round wheel so that's uh, one of the purposes of, of dressing the wheel another purpose of course is to make uh, sure that this surface is absolutely flat and when you have a wider uh, surface of the tool you want to sharpen and that's also um, the reason why you absolutely need to dress your your um, your grinding wheel before you can use it again um, I'm using the this this type of the tool um, for don't know why but for some accident I ended up uh, with um, Um, with uh, uh, the, the, the dressing uh, tool, uh, the wheel dressing tool, which has the little hammers and the wheel, and kind of kind of looks like this. Well, um, it's absolutely not suitable for this size of the grinder and uh, for the precision and the quality I'm looking for. So it's uh, turned out to be absolute waste, and I and I probably throw it out somewhere. Um, I don't know. So the next step um, after I dress the wheel it's again going to lose its balance because you remove uh, the um, if the wheel was not perfectly round you would remove uh, some slice of material of, on, uh, from the one side of the grinding wheel and then um, you have to remove it uh, from, uh, from the grinder again uh, put it on a balancing uh, balancing tool like this and then redo all the balancing and then at the end you have um, I ended up with a setup that I am uh, very happy about A uh, small extension is this uh, cheap light. Kind of helps. You do need a light, so this grinder does not come. This is not the light, so the light is optional. Just FYI. <laughs> 